she's not just a military wife, but a wife to the number one military reference, the Grand Commander of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency. Let's put our hands together, the First Lady of the Nation. PTSD is a mental health condition that is triggered by a terrifying event. It is a reality that many soldiers and military families have to live with despite its negative consequences. Being a soldier's wife or retired soldier's wife and a wellness expert, I understand the challenges associated with PTSD and its impact on military families and the nation. My husband served Nigerian Army for 27 years before he was overthrown by a coup d'etat. He fought civil war for 30 months without a rehabilitation. He ruled Nigeria for 20 months and he was detained for 40 months without the nature of his offense or without any nature of offense. One year after he came out from detention, we were married. I clocked 19 years as his wife in his house, legitimately. So I suffered the consequences of the PTDS, PTSD, because having gone through all this, at the age of 19, to handle somebody who is a former president of Nigeria and the commander of commander in chief of the Nigerian Armed Forces, to tell the person that he is wrong, to tell him that he is wrong, is the first mistake that you are doing. So at the age of 19, I had to figure out how to tell somebody of his caliber that he's wrong or he's right. And that was the beginning of my offense in his house. <laughs> and contesting elections, 2003, he failed, 2007, the same thing, 2011, the same thing all without rehabilitation, I became a psychotherapist. <laughs> and finally, the whole nation raised against it, against the, 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 the misuse of uh, power and bad governance. He only succeeded when it became a movement. And here we are today. He ruled Nigeria before and is ruling Nigeria now. And this is the last and the final. <laughs> Failing elections three times was a big blow to every contestant. And also, those that have contested just yesterday, a simple primary elections, they are still living in a traumatic, you know, condition. What I tried to console them, I tried to talk to them. Some of them switch off their phones up till today. Just, just for a primary election. You can imagine myself handling somebody at the age of 19, handling somebody that went through a war, you know, coup d'etat, and then elections upon elections, and then finally getting to the villa 2015. Also, to tell them that this is wrong, this is right in Nigeria or in Africa in general, for a woman to tell a man is a problem. In that case, I want to use this opportunity to appreciate members of the armed forces, of their sacrifices and contributions to the national building. Many fallen heroes in the course of these sacrifices and they remain evergreen in our minds. Many others 
are either wounded physically or mentally. I want to appreciate them, their wives, their families, and all of them in this circle of despair, and we want to let them know that the whole nation is with them. The Center for PTSD is important to members of the armed forces and beyond because soldiers are its, military, are its primary victims, affecting their relationships and colleagues, with colleagues, friends, and loved ones, as well as work, as well as work and productivity. This center is timely as it is a problem that really deserve a solution and this nature of this nature and providing facilities and services for testing, treatment and rehabilitation of patients is key. Therefore, for raising is not a solution. The solution is the federal government that send them to fight the, for the that send them to the war front to take responsibility in taking care of their families and also taking care of their mental health after returning from the war front. PTSD cuts across all ages and space of life in children who are exposed to emotional and physical abuse from parents, in women, those who withstand or those who endured emotional and physical abuse for long, including men. In this regard, we also consider in workplaces abuse and in workplaces, in workplaces abusive and inconsiderate bosses are also responsible of the PTSD. Depriving employers, employees of their entitlement after living service. I thank the POWA once again for this initiative and the military establishment for supporting them. I call on them to ensure that this center provides quality and sustained care to soldiers that suffered from PTSD. And also is the responsibility of the whole armed forces to extract from their budgets and build this center. Mrs. Erabo is no longer your project. It's my project and the project of Mr. President. We are going to walk around the clock to make sure that the center is built and commissioned before we leave office by the grace of God. For the donations, the forms are with you or the cards are with you. You can fill in and then donate to the personal use of the Depoa Treasury. But real for the project is the responsibility of the federal government and Nigerian Armed Forces and the President himself. Thank you so much and God bless you. Thank you.